Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Let me get this thing right, y'all. Sorry. For some reason, it just has not been. But happy Wednesday. Good morning today. Hopefully, everybody's having an amazing day. Welcome to all my new subscribers. What's up to the people who've been rocking and rolling with your girl? Also, I want to give a big old shout out to all of my people who watch all of my videos, no matter what your girl put out, vlogs, reviews, hauls, walkthroughs, whatever, sip and chat, you riding with me, you are my MVP of the channel, and because of you, your girl keep posting. Y'all, today is another Aldi release day. I have it here, this is the sneak peek, the one I got, the one I got last week. Um, they don't really have a whole lot of stuff um, this week. So we're going to go in here and we're going to see what we can see and see what we can find. If anything, if not, oh well, it's always next week. I really feel like next week is going to be a really a really good week for Aldi, especially if you're into the Avid boxes. Next week, Aldi will be releasing all of their Avid boxes. From my experience the boxes that really fly off the shelf is the wine avid box and if you are not a big wine drinker if you're like me you drink like the sweet wines these are more like dry wines and semi-sweet wines that's what this box is so if you are not into that i recommend that you skip on that box but it will sell out from my experience from years ago trying to get the box um i don't know if they're gonna have more of them this year um i know last year it was kind of easy to find but the year before no <laughs> so, okay i just looked it up and it does not have a price you have to see the price in store according to what the app says also they're gonna have the coffee avid box i did get the coffee avid box last year it's it was just okay for me i really don't care for Aldi coffee nothing's wrong with it but like their k-cup I personally like I personally like a strong coffee deep roasted coffee that's just what I like and to me they have more of the lighter coffees and the variety was really really nice it's just that it wasn't my favorite so for me it's a pass on that but if you love like chocolate avid boxes if you love cheese avid boxes the wine avid box the um beer if you love stuff like that next week is the week to go to aldi because they're gonna have all of those things that's one thing i can say about aldi's their avid boxes is really really nice if you want to get some avid boxes for your kids that's really nice and they're super affordable. I think they have some as cheap as like two or three dollars for kids, like the kid candy avid boxes. So I think next week is really gonna be a good week for stuff like that if that's what you're looking for as far as candles i don't believe no candles is coming out next week this week they only have one set of candles so so yeah I'm dragging this. It's taking too long. So let's head on over into the store and see what we can find because time is winding. So let's go. my store didn't have any of the candles and they didn't even have this week's ad out they only had next week's ad which was strange so strange this is the ad for november 3rd 
to the ninth. So I don't know what's going on, but I got next week's ad. Also, like I said, they didn't have the ceramic candles and they didn't know what the heck I was talking about. Um, they had a lot of the other stuff, but they most definitely didn't have the candles. So I only grabbed two things. I wanted this um, Harvest throw blanket because y'all know I love a good throw blanket. And it just has um, like autumn, pumpkin, love. I think that's what it says. Things like that on it. That's the picture. And this was like $5. And then I had to get this. As y'all do know, last year I did grab two of them. But look at this little cute little thing, y'all. Oh my goodness. I had to. This little thing is so cute. <laughs> it is so cute. It's a door stopper, if y'all didn't know. Open your door to keep it from closing. You just put this in front of. I thought this was so cute. Last year, I got one, and I'll probably show a clip of it. I got the owl, and um, it was another dog one. So when I seen this, I think this is like a um, English bulldog, I think. I don't know, but I thought it was super, super cute. So I had to get it, and it was like $6. Had to have it. So those are the only two items I got. This was $7. And this was $5. I'm going to go down the street to the other store and see if they have the candles. If they don't, it's not a big deal because, like I said, I was only going to get one of the candles. So, let's head down here and just see. car and as y'all did see this Aldi did have the candles and I just grabbed two and I grabbed two other things grab me some salad because your girl been eating a lot of salad for some reason been eating very light I don't know why and I grabbed some grapes if you don't know Aldi grapes is 99 cent a pound so for all these grapes I think I paid like three dollars 350 somewhere around up in there and then I grabbed two candles and this one is bourbon vanilla and myrrh the container is really really nice it has this fake wood grain super super nice candle the jar ceramic of course and this will be really good like after you get done using the candle if you want to repurpose this really good and to me this smells very much like vanilla i don't know what myrrh smell like if i'm pronouncing that right but this is nice. I actually like this because y'all know I only went in for one candle. And then the next one is Palo Santo and White Sage. So this one is more of a white jar, if you can see that. I know the sun. And it has that fake wood grain at the bottom. This is nice. This is, I really like this. And to me, it doesn't really smell like the typical Palo Santo. To me, this kind of smells like linen sheets. Or laundry day. I'm going to have to compare the two. And then on the bottom, it doesn't have any scent notes. Just the warning label and then the candle that it is. This one is actually really nice. But what I don't like about these candles, no lid. I don't like that. But it smells amazing. 
like really really nice clean scent it doesn't come off woody like normal um palo santo comes off i can't smell that it's, it smells more like the laundry type of candle very very clean wow wow so most of the time well sometimes at aldi sometimes they candles say one thing and it'd be something totally different i most definitely have experienced that a lot and these are two wick candles if you can't see again the sun two wick candles white wax and i think these are 16.4 fluid ounce candles for seven dollars i believe out of these two that i picked I think this has to be my pick, not just because I like Palo Santo, but this has that fresh, clean scent. The other one is caramel, that salted caramel latte. I already have one, a, a candle like that from Aldi. So most definitely pass on that one. And I can't remember the other one. I can't remember the other one, but I passed on all those two. Y'all know anytime they have like a bourbon or whiskey or something like that, I'm going to always buy it. So yeah, and then y'all know Palo Santo is one of my favorite scents. So yes, I'm going to buy that as well. So that's the reason why I got these two. But if I had to pick from the two, if I just only wanted to buy one, it has to be this Palo Santo and White Sage candle. So nice. So nice. It is not... If you're the type you really don't like Palo Santo, this isn't your typical Palo Santo candle. This is more of fresh laundry to me. So good. This is good. Hopefully it throws just as good. So leave in the comments. Let me know. Is this a skip week for you? A pass week for you? Or, or are you going to grab some of these $7 candles? Um, leave that in the comments. Let me know what is your pick out of these this week's candles if you decide to get them also leave in the comments let me know some of the other items that you buy from um aldi like this look cute dog this little thing is so cute so let me know in the comments did you grab one of these little dogs did you grab a throw blanket leave in the comments let me know what was your pick of the week the item that you had to have this week one of mine was this. I knew I had to have this. I wanted this thing more than I wanted the candles. So, so cute. Oh my goodness, so cute. And I'm still on the fence about the um, hedgehog or either the, the hedgehog or that little raccoon. I'm on the fence about those two. So you never know, I might be making another trip, but this little thing is just, oh my gosh, just still in my little heart. So nice, so nice, I love it. So like I said, leave in the comments, let me know what was the items that you had, to, you had to have this week, leave that in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up the video, and like always, follow your girl on Instagram, please. And I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. All right. Peace.